Hello, my name is Lauren Ballone. I was born in Richland, Washington, recently graduated from the University of Michigan's acting program, and I'm now living, taking shelter in Los Angeles, California, where I've had the privilege and pleasure to direct Idris Goodwin's short play, Hashtag Matter, with actors Princess Kana and Robbie Hansen. I firstly want to thank the Rude Mechanicals for taking advantage of this highly significant time in our history to continue to educate our community and other communities and elevate diverse voices. I also want to thank Aegis Goodwin for, for writing this incredibly personal and, and nuanced script. Immediately when reading it, uh, very personal memories of mine came up and were just mirrored by the interactions going on in the script. I think uh, people will be able to learn from this script as well as feel validated um, by the universality of the conversations um, and experiences. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you. Prologue. We lived next door to each other as kids. And now, same city. We were never that close during any of it, but we knew of each other. I'd see him here or there. We were aware of each other. We kept our own space. Not consciously, we just ran in different spaces. But we were always aware. Social war. Another body, another name, another image has circulated. It's The shameful. latest body, name, the newest image to haunt. It's shameful. I posted, this is no time for apathy. I liked it. The fight for equality continues on. Liked it. And then I typed a hashtag and three words. Words I thought anyone could get behind. I didn't like that. I responded with a hashtag and three words. Nothing offensive. Words I thought anyone could get behind. I didn't quite like that, so I deleted it. She deleted my response. Totally hypocritical. My wall? my space. And yeah, I edit it. It's the one space where I can build the world I'd like to inhabit. I respond to her posts a lot. We share the same algorithm, politically. My response was to remove it. Erasure is never okay, so I responded. This is not a race issue. Not really. This is about abuse of power. I responded. Are you crazy? I responded. We're talking about equality. The human experience. No time for stark divisions along racial lines. This is a time for us to recognize our shared humanity. I deleted it. I messaged her. He messaged me. We haven't seen in each other in a while or spoken. The last time was at a concert. She was a little mad at me because the MC performed a song with the N-word in the chorus and she saw me sing along. And she never said anything, but after the show, she was cold to me. He messaged me. Hey, Kim. I know it's been a while. He felt like we needed to talk, needed to clear the air. Can we sit down for coffee sometime? Sitting down. I want to ask you what you meant, but I'm finding it hard to ask you. What I would rather do is just tell you what I think about what I thought you meant. I can explain what I meant. I'm sure you can, but can you explain what I read and what I took it to mean? I just mean 
that we are all comprised of matter. Matter being essential molecular element of which we are all built. Ordinary matter like trees and water, solids and liquids. But sounds, the voice for example, was not considered matter. Matter used to only encompass a select set of solid objects. But all along, it was all matter. What happens to matter split? Does it explode and decimate millions of bodies of color? And whose hands split the matter? What we are talking about are black lives split, shaken until they become bonds. Their lives, those lives. It's all ridiculous. We're here. And we can decide the way this is going to go. This doesn't have to... Shouldn't be... And we, us, we don't have to ascribe. An aside, there was that summer after senior year of high school. We were both short on credits. All our friends took off. We had to stick around. We both ended up working at the library to make extra cash. We kind of got close that summer. We talked about books smoked joints on our lunch break. That was the summer I got into R&B and I turned her on to some indie rock. I thought, man, what a cool chick. There was that one night after our shift, we got all those tall cans and decided to break into the school. We heard someone. So we ducked into the only open room we could find, the chemistry room. It was dark in there and we were super quiet. We drank more and we started to get close. Maybe it was because things were coming to an end. We got close to, but we didn't. She stopped suddenly, said she had to go home. We're on the same side, Kim. Are we? Yes. We want the same thing. Another man is laying in the street. Your immediate impulse is to correct me. He talks semantics with me to say, well, Kim, actually, I don't know what side that is. In particle physics, antimatter is material composed of antiparticles, which have the same mass as particles of an ordinary matter, but have an opposite charge. I don't think anyone is less or more or special. When we say Black Lives Matter, do you think that's us saying we're special? Look at us, we're getting shot. No, but it's sort of making your suffering worse than others. <laughs> Wait. What did you just- That's not what I mean. It's <laughs> saying your suffering is, I mean, what about Africa? all the Boko Haram stuff, or women all over the world being assaulted, okay, gays but gays and lesbians, Hispanics being deported, shot at border crossings, or hell, even poor white folks who live in black communities who are bullied because of the crimes Cole. of others. And, and Cole. I'm all for civil rights, but looting, property no. damage, and just no. rage? No. It doesn't work. I mean, it's not strategic. You don't... All lives, <sighs> Kim. That's all I'm saying. Let's pull the act from the context of race. We have to break this down to the root of human wickedness. And sometimes humans kill humans because of their race. <sighs> Wouldn't it be great if, I just wish we could move on, be ourselves. Be individuals, our own perfect stars, just our own perfect stars. When we were kids, when we'd have a block party, all the kids would be out getting our faces painted like Spider-Man, bike races. We were just kids in the neighborhood. When did we start? I was the only black kid at that block party. 
I didn't see it like that. You didn't see I was black? I didn't treat you different. But not everybody was like you. And aside, she wasn't always like this. And aside, I was silent. I-, I used to be silent. She used to be real easygoing. A cool chick. I used to hold my breath, breathe shallow up here in my chest. We used to grow up the same way. But the way we were perceived is different. But that doesn't mean those perceptions are true. The water and the tree are in the same forest, but not the same. Different mass, different volume, different uses. Are you willing to decrease your mass? Just say it. Black lives matter. Do white lives not matter? Nobody is saying what does it matter. But it's exclusionary. It's contextual. In this climate, it relates to the splitting of black atoms with no consequence. And aside, I feel sick. I want to hug Kim and tell her I'm sorry, but also, if I'm being honest, tell her to get over it. Life is hard, and there's no measuring stick for suffering. She can change this just by being herself, not this angry black woman. I really want want to let Cole off the hook. Drop this whole thing. Tell him it's all good. But I have swallowed myself so many times to make white folks feel less uncomfortable. I just want to fix it. Cole wants to know how we can fix it. Wants me to tell him, but I just woke up this way. I don't know how to dig into into hearts, rewire the circuitry. Who does? All I'm trying to do is keep it together. I want to tell her I'm sorry. I don't need apologies. I just want it to stop. To say it is to admit that my life, in someone's eyes, people living, people dead, has mattered more than other folks's. And I don't think it does. But someone at some point believed that. And maybe my life has been better because of that. That night in the chemistry room when we got close, Cole and I all those years ago, I was into it. I liked him. Until he put his hands in my hair, I thought about all those kids in school always asking to touch it. Can I touch it? And how they react when they did. And he had his hands in my hair and I was wondering how he thought it felt. Weird, funny, good. Then I thought about if he'd been with any black girls before and It was too much. So I told him I had to go home. So I did. I left and that was the closest we ever got. A week or two later, I sent Kim a message. I thanked her for the conversation. I told her we should be in touch more often. That I wanted to keep talking. Not just about this, but our lives in general. Nothing. That was that, I thought. But one morning I went to my timeline. I saw her picture and her name being shared by everyone. They called it failure to comply 
failure to be silent. So she was made silent forever. She lives on now as a hashtag, but I can still hear her voice hanging in the particles. Does a spirit have mass? It must. I can feel the weight. 